What up YouTube, it's Matt from Armstrong Gaming here, partnered with the Freedom Network. How are we all today? Alright, I hope everyone's good, and I hope everyone's ready for a little bit of Borderlands. We are going to stick with the main storyline quest, and we're going to be wandering out here to the Wildlife expo Exploration Preserve. Um, so if you go back two videos, there's a big gap, and that's because of loss of computer. Uh, that happened about a fortnight ago now. So last uh, episode, I talked about that. And we did the golden keys, and I was mentioning all that sort of stuff. And we're going to end out here, and we're going to continue with the storyline from where I've left off. We also picked up some new items, which are real cool. And I'm going to be using this gun for a little bit. I'm liking it thus far. I'm having a little issue with a little bit of video lag, as I tend to have on my computer, but I shouldn't. Alright, so we're going to go find up here, get ourselves Mordecai. And this is the second introduction of Mordecai. Um, there should have been a video where you go out to... Oh, I can't remember the name of the zone. Uh, Tiny Tina and everything like that, and you got to wake him up by doing the three... Crap, Jeez. name's slipping me. Anyway, right. here he is. So yeah, he's obviously got a little bunch going on. He sent um, Bloodwing along to do it, which has got the clap Claptrap upgrade, which is going to help us get through the Hyperion defenses when that comes up. Let's see what other guns I've got. Got an 11,500 damage pistol and eight and a half thousand damage sniper rifle Vladov which I am really looking forward to using. A nice shoddy and this sweet ass assault rifle. Uh, I'm not using an SMG at the moment. So you do is just jump off the route off there, come across here and there's a recurring system here where you've got to be able to do um, it's opening up the door. There's a system to doing it. A whole bunch of quest line. Right, let's test out this flat off. All right. That guy's dead. Reload. Head forward. Um, so the way to continue this quest is you got to open the door here, however it won't let you, which is why I'm going to zoom back to over here, uh, releases loaders, I'm just going to jump on these boxes for a bit of height. Alright, so it wants us to have three loaded wounders. Oh, I had to be real careful where I put my shots. Because unfortunately, they're um, not damaged enough or they're too damaged. Let's just deal with that guy. Mordecai's obviously going to be yelling at me. He's all like, hey, you got to cripple them. Alright, that's two. I'm hoping one of them will tick down into three. Got it! Got all three. Alright, now that that's happened, finish them off. And grenade for the lols. Alright, so we wandered in through here. I'm not expecting this to be too much of an issue. I'm being a bit of a jerk and rolling through fast. Uh, I'm going to use a grenade to get myself some extra healing and just move on really quickly, trying to activate as many guys as possible. 
And also trying to do this as quickly as possible for you guys because you know this could get boring if you just see me shooting all the time and not having too much of an issue. This bit I'm going to use my shotgun just because of all the um. Oh, what are they called? These fuckers, skags. Oops, I forgot that that was a turtle. Don't need to shoot you. Super badass shock skag, Jesus. Boop. Oh, that was around the mouth by the looks of it. Killed something. Yep, got them both. I gotta head up here. <laughs> they kill all three of them with that one grasp. Alright, so let's get some ammo. I love Handsome Jack. I'm really looking forward to him being a part of the uh, new characters, playable characters as part of the, um, the pre-sequel. Really looking forward to it. Uh, I've got to get my hands on it though. Damn stalkers. Uh, let's switch back to pistol. Push the button. Alright, wander in. And we'll deal with... Alright, so for those of you who know... For those of you who know um, where all the... Or want to know where all the uh, arena style matches are, there's one set in here. In the natural selection annex. And they've got ammo dumps and everything like that inside, which is pretty cool. Get rid of that. 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 Health will keep that. Shock will get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put that as that. Get rid of that. Alright, cool. Let's move on. Um, and we'll go with this. Because I reckon high rate of fire will be a good thing. And side quest, boom. Slag samples. I'm pro I'm not going to try and complete this, but if I happen to do it along the way, then so be it. Come on, drop out of thingy. Should do enough damage. I hate stalkers. They are my most hated of all the enemies in this game. And the main reason is because they just move in and out so easily between invisible and visible that it literally just shits me. Like, I love loaders. They're easy to spot, they're e it's easy to see, they're super easy to kill. Whereas these guys are just a shit. Loving a grenade because I don't feel like... Where are you? I hate stalkers! Alright. 
good. Alright, now, uh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen just then. Um, so, obviously, he's dr Jack's dropping in loaders to try and deal with us. As well as a super badass stalker. Throw the grenade. Get the experience from that dude. Right. I will need this to deal with his super badass loader. Although he's not much of a challenge at the moment. Just because of the difference in level. Because like the level forty one, like I don't expect anything here to be any what any type of a challenge to me. Like it's only given me one experience. I'm not expecting anything to be super difficult. Maybe the boss might present a bit of a challenge, but uh, who knows. Oh, up to forty four iridium. Oh that's nice. I better buy something then. Alright. He's totally not going to be here, by the way. Game is never that easy. As you can see, not there. Oh, I love the foreshadowing. Alright. There's no way really to go at this point. You need to wait for the next bit to kick through. And the next bit that kicks through is all these doors will open and all these skags will come through and try to be, uh, make food out of us, so to speak. Ah, oh, there we go. I need to trigger the event. My apologies. I love that he's eating. Oh, so cool. Love the Jack. Yes, I know I'm shooting corrosive against corrosive, but I just wanted to put some damage on him. Alright, can't see anything alive. Let's reload. <sighs> Alright, where are we going to go? It's like, really? Quiet. It's like, a-hole. It's like, just die. Alright, let's move on. Where do I need to be? I need to be up here. Yes, I'm ignoring these. Hold it right there. Yeah, have a grenade to your face. No, need to be over here. Alright, so you go up this bit here onto that ledge and over there. I had my boys build and preserve the research, the full applications of Slack. See, it's not just an elemental thing each type. If you know how to use it, Slack has lots of applications. Oh, so they're getting up in levels now, and there's the ones at level 44. Grenade. Cool. Oh, I need some grenades. I've used all eight. How about that? Alright, so as soon as you get to this door, a couple of guys should pop out. Alright, maybe not. Or maybe it was once you dealt with most of the um, bad guys. Alright, 
That should do enough damage to everything. Well, that's that. All right. Now, there's some way of opening that up, but I can't be bothered remembering how. If you hear screaming coming from the All right. Lab. Need to change weapons. Oh, I went down. Didn't even notice. Alright. Lots of randomness, as one can probably expect from this game. Super badass loader. Not really that difficult. Cool, another slag sample. That's 5 out of 10. So we're 50% of the way there. Um, I just saw another one. Make that 2. Alright, so I've gotten 7 without really trying. There's another one there. That might not make eight. I think they might actually drop. Wow. No, it wasn't. Damn. So you run along this boardwalk and you run along here. As soon as you get up here, more bits trigger, more bad guys. Not particularly of much trouble. Um, throw a grenade. Everybody go towards that thing. And then I'll just blow up the vicinity. Oh, I went down. No, not a problem. Oh, some more iridium. Sweet, some health. There's another one there that'll bring me up to eight. Now, I saw them before. Where did they go? There's one there, there's one there. So that's eight. There's nine, and there's ten. So look, optional quest for that. Not ridiculously hard. And then when you're ready, you just drop down here. And it'll kick off the next bit. So, nice and quick all the way through this. And we're going to find out exactly what happened to Blood Ring right now. Ready? It's slagged Blood Wing! So she's a little annoying. She takes to the sky. Siren powers don't really hold her still. So they do the other effect, which they do a shit ton of damage instead. Oh, you can't actually do her damage at the moment. So after fire, this is bracing pretty much all the different types. I'm taking that down pretty easy. So we get to electricity, so she's going to take reduced damage from my gun. Definitely listen to um, Jack during this thing. He he goes through the elemental types and he's sort of leading towards something, building up towards a thing, and it's not quite sure what it is. So he's gone through fire, electricity, now corrosion.
Alright, so this is when you know the fight's over. You guys ready for it? Be ready, 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 ready. Boom, baby. That is why you don't screw with me. You and your little friend Mordecai turn your head. Look at all the guts. Or that dumbass bird is just the beginning. Cool. Uh, damn it, Jack! I'm gonna kill you! You hear me? Well, I hope I didn't spoil that too much for you guys. Um Obviously, I'm just using all these little crates to build up my ammo reserves. I'm not super worried about my health at this point, because not a lot can beat me down, and when they do beat me down, uh, it's not too difficult for me to get back up. Hey, Bloodwing. Alright, so stuff in here. Come on, something good. Oh, purple. Nah, not good. Pick up all that. Let's have a look at this one. And while it's doing that, let's open this. Rocket launcher, meh. Grenades, yep. Ah, greens. Moving on. And then it's just simple hot skip and a jump out of here. Well, it's smallest violin. Mm -hmm. Alright, then it's pretty much um, get out of the zone. Head back to Claptrap, giving the software upgrade, and we're on to the next quest, which we will do in the next episode. So you need to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to keep up to date with what is going on in the world of Armstrong Gaming. Because I do have a erratic schedule at best. Uh, that's not done by design. That literally is just because of the way my life is at the moment with you know, being off work because of my hand and everything like that, I sort of do whatever floats my fancy at the day, and today was Borderlands. Alright, so we head back to Central Waiwai, and we'll turn the quest in. Oh, here we go. Obviously, he found his uh, violin. He makes for an excellent bad guy. I just love Handsome Jack for that reason. Because he's so vilified and so I'm good at the same time. He, he thinks he's good. He thinks that we're the bad guys. And, of course... Ah, uh, shit. He's invisible. Alright, we'll turn this in, and that'll be the wildlife preservation quest done and dusted. Nice and easy. Of course, I've got the levels on my side, which makes everything so much easier. Um, so yeah, if you do level past like what I have, it's really good. And if you saw what I just did then, I opened an already open one, and it gave me more stuff. Little hint. If you get it on the right angle, you can open them. Alright, so I'm going to turn this in, listen to what Roland and what's her face has to say. Lilith, and go from there. Oh, more iridium! I'm sorry about the little. Take this note to Thousand. You're going to deliver that note to a bandit leader known as the Slab King. Now, he used to be a part of the Crimson Raiders until his methods got to prove I didn't think ripping Hyperion officials limb from limb in front of their loved ones was an effective way to get into it. He disagreed. Still, he owes me a favor, and he can help us get past the bunker outside Control Core Angel. Alright, cool. So we got a note to deliver. Now we're a um, like a little mercenary minion sort of thing for Roland. Delivery boy! That's what I'm thinking of. Next time, a thousand cuts, one simple note, one slab king. 
See you next time, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Remember to try and stay up to date. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. Give it to your mates. Pass it around the web. See you next time, guys. Take care. This is Matt from Mastering Gaming. Catch ya.